Welcome to Happy Times, Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Um, I understand that a devastating storm has hit China and there has been many casualties. We sincerely pray that the people will find peace and our hearts are with them. So, today's Words of Wisdom is, Prayer is Reality. Today's words of wisdom is prayer is reality. So I took those, the, the title from the book, um, The Spiritual Message of the Spiritual Interview with Norman Vincent Peale. And the title is the, the World of Positive Thinking. So I'd like to first start with um, Master's introduction about Mr. Norman Vincent Peale. So. This religious person, Norman Vincent Peale, was famous for his book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And one part of this is used as a textbook at our Happy Science Academy. To tell the truth, in my younger days, I was very much influenced by his thoughts and I think this is the most influential thinking power for me and for the world. Now I am in a position more difficult than he was in during his time. Even today, I sometimes feel difficulties and in some meaning, when I make a mistake, I feel kind of depressed. On such a rainy day, I think about Norman Vincent Peale. His positive thinking power is still shining in my head mind. I can easily recover my power and want to fight against my difficulties. This thinking power is found on my diamond-like thoughts, so I have much respect for him. Right, so Master Yuhokawa has gained a lot of positive power from Norman Vincent Peale and in this book, he says that um, he really respects him. And so that's why I picked this book to learn a bit of positive thinking from um, Norman Vincent Peale. And now I'd like to focus on the question about the power of prayer. And so the relation between Dr. Peale and his prayer. Um, so let me read the answer from Dr. Peel. So, this power comes from a profession, of course. If you are keeping your church, you must do sacred work every day. You have your gohonzon or something like that. So you must work for gohonzon and this everyday work will lead you to such kind of convincing power. If you don't do sacred work every day, at a church or a church-like place, you won't have enough power regarding prayer. If you do sacred work every day for a happy science shoshinkan or other shoja, you can receive, sometimes feel, the power of the heavenly world every day. This will fill your heart with the light of God or Buddha. And this power, this energy, will heal the wounded and can save them. Right. So from here we can learn that we can learn about the importance of us going to Happy Science branch or Happy Science temples. Why? Because that is where we can truly receive or directly receive um, the light of God or Buddha. So the light from Alcantara and the spirit group of happy science. And um, Dr. Peel also mentioned that you must do sacred work every day. So for what, what is that in terms of for us is practice love and our fourfold, um, our fourfold path, um, love, wisdom, self-reflection self and progress. Practicing these four principles is our sacred work. And to make it even more simple, give love. That is our biggest 
that is our most important sacred work. And of course, we have prayer as well. And this is what Dr. Peel says about prayer. So, and prayer. Please think and teach them that prayer is reality, a real activity, and has reality. I mean, it's a real existence. Prayer is not an emotion. Prayer is not an imaginary work. It's a reality. It's an existence of light, the existence of the desire of God, the existence of the light of heaven. Please think like that. Wow, so Dr. Peel has said, um, revealed to us that the very action of prayer that it's a reality and the, the, the praying itself is a sacred work. And I like to mention about the ten principles, the, the Kyoten ten principles. In one of the um, in, in one of the principles it talks about the principle of prayer. And in there Master talks about the function and the meaning behind prayer as well. So to deepen, if you would like to deepen the understanding of prayer, please refer to 10 principles. Those, it's a very important book. So that is what I would like to share with you today. So to, I would like to remind you that prayer is real. And that is why it's very important to um, have, a relig um, have a practice the right way of life and do self-reflection. Because when you pray, the angels are right there and the work will happen. It's a, re it's a real action. There. So that is why it's very important for you to be able to connect with the heavenly world and prayer with pure and um, pure heart. With that in mind, let us recite Happy Science Prayers. Lord Elkantai, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Yuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other and there appears Buddha land. 
with a land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in the stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so.
prayer to the Lord. Our Lord Elkantai, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this I give my thanks. Thank you for joining today's Words with Pam. Have a wonderful day.